Welcome back. We're at 442 now on this Friday morning and uh, temperatures have dropped down to around 60 degrees. So we have cooled off uh, several degrees versus where we were about 24 hours ago. And there could be some patchy areas of uh, fog around early today. Nothing dense and nothing that'll be lasting long in terms of uh, any low clouds around West Michigan. Sunshine is going to be in control and a great looking Friday is on tap. A uh, chance for some thunderstorms eventually once we get uh, overnight Saturday into Sunday morning. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, there will be an opportunity at that point in time. Uh, latest runs of the models not looking quite as bullish as uh, what they were showing the last few days. But nonetheless, that'll be a time frame to watch. Other than that, it looks pretty quiet and the pattern stays very warm running right on through the next couple of weeks actually. So as I've been mentioning recently, there's no definitive end to uh, this above normal temperature pattern. We are not breaking records, but we are certainly mid to upper 80s uh, virtually all these afternoons and uh, we'll have an opportunity to get into the lower 90s on uh, various occasions going forward. We've got light winds right now. We've got dew points around 60 degrees. So those are a little bit lower here to start today. Not quite as humid as you take your first step outdoors, but uh, that humidity will build to the similar levels of yesterday, kind of that moderate zone and we'll pick up even further on Saturday. So we'll have a couple passing clouds today. Mostly sunny will be the way to describe the sky condition though. We rise to 92 on Saturday. Humidity will be quite high, very high. Will the humidity be on Sunday as well? Notice the temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. We do have a little bit of a drop down here, 83 and 84 by next Wednesday and Thursday. But uh, as I talked about yesterday, if you extend that out into the following weekend, we start to recharge the heat and humidity once again. And this is the map from the Climate Prediction Center. When they, when they put this out, um, you see these deeper oranges and red colors. Where the colors go into those deeper reds, that's indicating where we've got the uh, expected departures from average to be the greatest. So the greatest uh, amount of degrees above the averages to be here through the Midwest and Great Lakes, that's where we've had it recently, and no changes going into week two of the forecast period. Live radar. Scanning around, trying to detect some showers and thunder showers, but nothing anywhere in sight. In fact, high pressure is closing in on us, and that's going to minimize cloud production today. Uh, again, a few clouds around passing by here through today, but I think actually as the afternoon wears on, we actually become drier, and uh, towards 4, 5, 6 o'clock, you're coming home from work, minimal clouds even in the sky at that point in time. Some moisture over towards the Eastern seaboard, but around here and points westward, typically weather moving from west to east. That's where you would anticipate maybe something coming in from. We don't have to track anything here on Friday. Now, eventually overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, there will be some thunderstorms starting to develop quickly there over Minnesota, and those will dive to the south across Wisconsin, but fade it does appear early on Saturday. So I don't think we're looking at much in the way of any shower or storm chances on uh, the first half of our weekend. A uh, second cluster will develop over Wisconsin overnight Saturday into early Sunday. Those will dive southward. Right now it looks like the Chicago area, the best chance to get uh, some thunder and lightning to begin on Sunday, but uh, we may get clipped with those as well. So we'll keep an eye on it and then a new chance there by uh, later Tuesday into Wednesday with another cold front. But uh, summertime warmth, that's what we've got and humidity, Alyssa, here going into the weekend.